Should you pull for Kadaj, his roles are going to be melee and linked attacker, debuffer, gravity, and dispeller. Volley, his skill 1, will deal 4 split HP attacks, inflicting 1 level of group fixation for 4 turns, and granting the buff latent thoughts for 6 turns. Let's get to his follow-up, called Geo... Faggy? Geo... Geofaggy? I might get cancelled saying it like that. It triggers after Kadaj damages an enemy with fixation of at least level 5. It will deal 6 HP attacks, increasing Brave by 30% of the HP damage dealt. Mayhem, his skill 2, will deal 6 HP attacks with 1 50% splash, inflicting 2 levels of group fixation for 4 turns. Lastly, like his skill 1, it also grants the buff Latent Thoughts for 6 turns. Divinity, his EX. It will first reduce all enemies Brave by 100% of their current Brave. It will then increase Kadaj's own Brave by 20% of his max Brave. And then it will deal 6 split HP attacks, giving 1 free ability use, Dispel spelling two buffs from all enemies, inflicting one level of group fixation for four turns, and finally inflicting group stigma for five turns. Burial Hour, his LD, deals nine HP attacks, inflicting five levels of group fixation for four turns, and granting his overhead Mother's Casket for 12 turns. Let's briefly talk about his C65, Set Fixation Slash. It is an instant turn rate move that will inflict five levels of fixation on a target for three turns. His FR inflicts five levels of group fixation for four turns, Geo Degradation, his BT, lasts for 6 turns, giving a party HP cap up of 30%, and its effect makes it so enemy fixation levels do not go down. And lastly, for the BT effect, it actually turns Kadaj into a debuff linked attacker, making his follow-up, which normally only triggers after he moves, now able to be triggered by anyone in the party. So long as you're attacking an enemy with a fixation level of level 5, you will trigger Kadaj's follow-up attack. Let's get to his buffs and debuffs. Latent Thoughts will give Kadaj a max brave up by 40%, initial brave up by 30%, and a brave regen by 40% of his initial brave. Mother's Casket, his overhead, will increase his brave by 40% of the HP damage dealt per level of fixation. Seeing that fixation has 5 levels, the maximum effect will be increasing his brave by 200% of the HP damage dealt. Fixation, his debuff, it is a level debuff. However, there are two main consistent effects that I want to talk about. The first one being Kadaj will steal all brave recovered from the enemy keep in mind they'll still be able to get brave through brave damage however whenever they try to recover brave whether it be an HP threshold or a force time activation or just an attack in general all the brave they will try to recover for themselves will instead go straight to Kadaj the second effective fixation I want to talk about whenever Kadaj changes targets the fixation debuff will reset back to one however keep in mind with his BT active this will no longer be the case. Stigma, his other debuff, will make it so all of Kadaj's inflicted debuffs will become gold frame, as well as inflicting Brave Sap by 10% of Kadaj's max Brave. Kadaj's force conditions, you first get a 40% whenever anyone uses a melee ability, and a 40% when the target has a leveled debuff. Is Kadaj's BT necessary? Yeah. Kadaj's DPS skyrockets with it active. His BT allows his follow-up to be a linked attack, now able to be triggered by anybody, and on his own turns, he actually triggers it twice. And his fixation debuffs will no longer be lowered by switching targets, allowing Kadaj to target different enemies, as well as maintaining all of his strongest effects through his overhead consistently. Should you pull for Kadaj? There is a lot to like about this guy, in my opinion. First things first, when it comes to single target damage, he is utterly broken as a DPS. Utterly broken. Broken. His follow-up already, 6 HP attacks on an enemy, that's a lot. Once you factor in his BT effect, and him being able to trigger it twice on his own turn, let's just do some math real quick. If you use Volley his skill 1, which deals 4 split HP attacks by itself, if you add 2 of Kadaj's follow-ups, that will equal 12 HP attacks. So you're going to be getting on one enemy with his skill 1, 16 HP attacks, with 4 of them being split. Let's continue. His EX, dealing 6 split HP attacks, attack on 12, that is 8. 18 HP attacks on one enemy, 6 of them being split. If you really want to go crazy with the single target, you can go to his LD, which already deals 9 HP attacks. You tack on 12 on top of that, that is 21 HP attacks on one enemy. That's a lot. And all of that damage is based off of that fixation debuff. So it'll be a bit of a shame if it ends up getting cleansed off by the enemy. Oh wait, it's actually gold framed due to his other buff, Stigma. The only way they're going to be able to clean it out is through through taking turns and wearing it off organically. Now, having gold frame debuffs by itself is amazing already, but if the enemy still likes to buff themselves, guess what? 
Kadash also has buff dispelling. It's not complete buff dispelling, but it is AoE. Dispelling two buffs off of all enemies more often than not is enough. When it comes to his own damage, he provides himself a lot of self-support. Even if your support is suboptimal or if you want to try going solo, he's still going to be doing good damage. We're not done, by the way, with his fixation debuff because we also got to remember the fact that all brave recovered from the enemy is now stolen by Kadash. All of it will go straight to him. Let me remind you again, this does not include them dealing brave damage and recovering brave that way. Anytime else, however, they try to get brave, it's going to go straight to Kadash. I think that's pretty crazy to have, let alone have that on a DPS unit. He provides pretty good HP cap ups with his BT and FR active. That I think is pretty decent. Lastly, with his FR conditions, I do think they're actually very generic for melee teams. So long as you're dealing melee damage, I think it's a very versatile FR. He takes care of the second condition, having a level debuff with his gold framed fixation. So you don't got to worry about that. Melee teams, the force conditions are a straight up gimme. On the downside with Kadaj, remember that the way enemies will get rid of his gold frame debuffs is if they take up turns. Thus, enemies that are significantly faster than normal end up taking a lot of turns, whether it's through turn warping or they just have very high turn rate. You might have a bit of trouble upkeeping the debuffs. You have plenty of options to inflict fixation, by the way. You have it through the FR, through the LD. You also have the ability to inflict weaker versions of it first with his skills. However, his skills are not infinite. You will not be able to guarantee that they will always be on the enemy if they take up a lot of turns. Boss fights like that don't happen very very often in Opera Omnia from my experience, so most of the time you're going to be fine. The bigger con, in my opinion, is his short BT effect. I'm not going to get too deep into it. I understand why his BT effect is six turns. It brings a lot to the table. Regardless though, you still have to deal with it only lasting six turns. So you're going to have to kind of decide if you want to BT phase with him or if you're not going to BT phase with him pretty early on in the fight. If you want to BT phase with him optimally, you pretty much have to use your FR echoes first before you activate the BT. Or if you don't care about that, you can just activate the BT first and then use the force echoes. Just be a bit wary about that. Lastly, since a lot of Kadaj's shtick relies on his debuff being on the enemy if you run him in a very debuff heavy team if you end up having too many framed debuffs on the enemy and you're not able to inflict all of kadajas his value does drop quite a bit again it's not very often that this happens but just keep in mind all in all on the damaging side i think he's a fantastic unit from my personal opinion not enough people are talking about him i personally am going to be greening him let me know what you guys think about him thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time bye